Hi, myself Amar and I welcome you to Ripple's Code channel. Now in this video, I will discuss another type of menu which is called as the step menu. Okay, let me show you the output first. Here you can see, I have created some steps named as address, products, payment and confirmation. The payment section is highlighted. This means this section is the active section. Okay, and after this section, all the items are disabled, and before this section, all the items are enabled. Okay, how to create this step menu? That portion I will discuss today. Okay, now here, as you can see, I have created a project named as a step, and inside this, I have two pages: index.xhtml, and I have created a managed bin named as model bin. Okay, now in the index.xhtml page. What I have done, I have created a head having the title as a step menu. In the body section, I have used the form tag and the ID of the form tag I have given as form. Here I have used the growl having the ID as messages and the so detail attribute I have made it as true. Now what is growl? What is this so detail attribute? This portion I have discussed in my growl video. Okay. Now to create the step menu, we need to use a tag which is called as the steps. And in the active index, I have written the value as two. Now the index always starts with a zero. Okay, as you can see, zero, one, two. This means this section is highlighted. Okay, and it has another attribute read only. In the read only, I have written as false. What it will do? If you make read only as false, this means the items with the item which is highlighted. Before this, all the items will be enabled. Okay, but if you remove this, suppose I am removing this attribute from here. Now, if I refresh this page, then you can see all the items before the highlighted uh, item is also disabled. Okay, this is the function of this read only. Okay, let me tell you one. Let me uh, repeat this once more. If you make the read only as false, this means the index which is highlighted before this highlighted index, all the items will be enabled. But if you remove the read only equals to false, then all the items before the highlighted index will also be disabled. Okay, and by default, all the items after the after the active index will be disabled by default okay so here i have created the steps having the active indexes two and read only i have kept as false now inside this steps what will be the menu items to do that we need to use the menu item tag and in the menu item i have created address products payment and confirmation as you can see here address products payment and confirmation okay now what will happen when I will click on this address? As you can see, if I click on this address, I am getting a growl message. Address clicked. Okay. To do so, we need to use the action attribute, and in the action attribute, I have written mb dot address, and in the update, I am updating the growl because you can see in the update I have written messages, which is nothing but the ID of the growl. Okay. And this mb is nothing but the name of the managed bin. So obviously, in the managed bin, there must be a function address. Product payment. Okay. Now, as you can see in this managed bin, what I have done, I have created function address, product, and payment. And in all the functions, I am calling another function which is called as the add message. Okay. In the add message, I have used the faces message class and faces context class to create the message. These things I have discussed in my previous videos also. Okay. And accordingly, whenever I am clicking on this index or or on this steps. Then the corresponding message is displayed. Okay, this is how we can create the steps menu in parentheses. This is the code for the managed bin, as you can see. This is the code for the managed bin, and this is nothing but the code for the index.xhtml. Okay, I hope you have liked my video. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel, like my videos, and share my videos. Thank you so much.